there was a great meeting in my time, in which the fate of humanity was decided. It immediately became known as G. Mani, which was attended by the strongest musicians still alive. Together with President Emmanuel, Bill Jobs also moderated the session. An AE made up of both well-known geniuses who made peace and decided to merge their consciences and society when they died. Elon Musk managed the transition and thanks to his strong irony, he inserted them into Sophia the Robot, who is precisely known today as the CEO of Appleft. On one side, there were the sacred pillars of music such as Eric Clapton, Brian May, Lee Ritenoir, Pat Matini, Victor Wooten, Flea and many others. On the other side, all the greatest guitar and bass YouTubers of all times. Because you must know that in my time, there is no other way of mass communication, YouTube only. The machines destroyed any means of coordination, but they never managed to compromise YouTube thanks to the immense firewalls and infinite Google servers located all over the world. In fact, in the future, you will only be able to communicate by uploading videos with your Apple of your phone, but maybe this I should not have told you. Anyway, the main topic of this summit was the XP. How to use it when to use it, supplies for the troops. But the biggest challenge of this meeting was to convince the best players to use this pick. Because lepers, you know, are known to hate this kind of thing. They just want to slap everyone and everything, always. But the reason we had to be able to convince them was too important. Once again, the alien inventor of the X-Pick intervened. I don't know if I told you that it comes from a future, but so hyper futuristic super extra badass future that if this is the ring of the time and we are here in the present, he comes from the other side of the ring where the future joins the past again. Basically, it comes from the past, too. <coughs> anyway, he explained to everyone that it was possible to weaken the machines, even with passive low frequencies, using the X pick without touching the bass or the guitar with the pick, practically slapping the electromagnetic fields of the pickups of the instrument with the magnetic fields of the x -pick. and he gave a demonstration to everyone present. He said that it was only necessary to put the chord or a note, making the strings vibrate, and control the normal picking, slapping the magnetic fields. Great! was the amazement of all the slapper bassists, who understood that they could continue to slap something even with the pick. Almost all of them immediately joined the cause. Only one remained on the sidelines, the one who would become the Greek commander 504 of the attack slappers. He was not very convincing, and he kept showing his Italian gestures. And while he was reflecting on what to do, the do provoked him by exclaiming in a loud voice, What happens, 504? Don't you like to slap things anymore? In a second, without even thinking about it, 504 ran up against him to try to slap him, but he could because, as we all know, Dudu never had a head. And then he began to respect him, because he was the only person in the world who could not slap. 
they became great battle friends and they started making tutorials for Attack Slappers too, both guitarists and bassists, and their battle cry was Slapping till the dead. <laughs> what the f***? No, I don't believe it. What are you still doing here? Uh, hello, sir. Excuse me, sir. I was telling about the heroic deeds of our musicians. In the future. Uh, in the future. But what happens to my voice? You don't be so fat now, huh? No, please, give me my voice again. Uh, shut up, idiot. And why we are always with this crap television? You know something about this? No, I have nothing to do with it. But why I'm talking to you? Hello everyone from the x Big staff. Today we are here to tell you about the most captivating and fun techniques of this revolutionary pig. We can divide them into two main categories. Hyper category, which includes picking, wa, and delay techniques. And then the magnetic field category, where we find tremolo, reverse, whistle control and many others. They have this division because in the case of hyper techniques, we slap the magnetic fields from the outside of the magnetic bubble of the pickups, while in the magnetic field techniques, we introduce ourselves into the magnetic field and modulate it from the inside. Guys, we know that there are a lot of words in these tutorials, but as this is the first time using techniques like this, we need to explain it in detail before we leave for the war. So, in the previous video, we say that the X-Peak interacts through its magnetic fields with the electromagnetic fields emanating from the pickups of your guitar or bass. But how? The X-Peak has an axial magnetization which has the two polarities above and below the magnet to be able to work on any type of pickup. Perfectly rounded sides to also work as a slide and a tip with 60 degrees of amplitude. There are no other magnets in the world with these characteristics and a lot of research has been done to achieve this patent. In this way, you can interact in the electromagnetic field of the pickups only through the tip of the pick having the power of a neodymium magnet but all concentrated on the small size of the tip. And all of this will allow you to have better control over the distance to have for a correct interaction and a great cleanliness of the sound. These techniques are really fantastic and very scenic and if you want to leave everyone speechless, just follow the steps. You do not cause the strings to vibrate through the peak, but through the left hand. The main method to achieve this is to press the first note a little harder, in order to make the string vibrate a little, and subsequently or simultaneously control the peaking, intensity and volume with the magnetic field of the X-Peak. It's not necessary to press hard all the notes or charts with the left hand, because the sensitivity of the pickups is so high that only the vibration of the note change in the scale or of the chords will be enough. At the sound level, it will feel like you are hitting the guitar with the pick, when in reality you are 20 cm away just lapping the magnetic fields. It's advisable, at least initially, to have something that plugs the strings, even a rubber band is fine. In this way, you will prevent involuntary sounds. When performing these techniques, always remember to slap exactly in the direction of the pickup you are using. As for the position of the pick in the end, it's important to hold the X pick exactly like a normal pick to perform these techniques at the distance there is with the tip facing the strings because you will have much cleaner sound more mastery of magnetic field and you can easily mix these techniques with normal ones having the pick always in the correct position to adjust the distance to have from the pickup just listen the output sound start slapping immediately above the pickup and slowly move away or approach until you hear a nice detached and clean sound 
If we are making a scale in hyper picking, it's not necessary to have the pick exactly in correspondence with the string of the note played, as if using a normal pick. Just always be at the right distance from the pickup in the middle position and it will sound the same. It's quite obvious to understand that the most suitable complementary techniques is the legato, but being able to also combine facets such as sliding on the strings, bending and more will contribute to a perfect execution. For this technique, it's possible to use any pickup without distinction. It will be up to you to choose the one that best suits your sounds and adjust the distance with the strings to have more or less magnetic interaction. Guys, start with simple things, for example, learning to use the picking on downbeat. Then move on to picking downbeat and upbeat. Maybe you start making trails. The first hit you give it with the note of the left hand and the others with X pick. Obviously, all this talk is also addressed to Bass's friends. Hear this wonderful sound opening. Everything we have said is also valid for chords. Press the first chord a little harder and then continue playing normal. Just to do a little exercise and it will come spontaneously. Another jam it's also possible to scratch remotely on the guitar to simulate the permuting embellishments. These techniques are extremely fun and scenic as the hair guitar. In fact, from this moment on, we are the ones who can cope in their madness, still continuing to play for real. But beyond this, there is a truly innovative and exciting aspect. But let's analyze this new mechanic in detail. If we slow down the movements, when I move the X peak on the pickups, we notice that in reality the electromagnetic field gradually reaches zero very quickly. Then it reactivates immediately after I move away, and all of this in hundreds of seconds. So, in other words, it's like you're always picking upbeat, not downbeat. Yes, it's absurd to think so, but it's true. And in fact, the speed with which the magnetic fields act is so high that it gives us the sensation of a normal picking on the downbeat. And this is what gives this technique its name, precisely the hyper speed of reaction of the magnetic fields. To understand it better, let's look at it in editing. This is a single chord in slow hyper picking. Using the x pick we can see that the sequence is sound, not sound, sound, which allows us to pick without the need for an attack. Usually, when you proceed with the mixing and mastering of the tracks, one of the biggest and longest jobs to do is the adjustment of the attacks of the instruments, because there are songs in which the attack is only annoying. You really waste a lot of time doing what the x pick does in natural and analog way, and we all know that doing it first in analog is always better than doing it later using the software. In fact, if you show this to your sound engineer, be careful, because he may start crying. Furthermore, as you saw in the previous video, the fact of not having an attack 
gives us the possibility to control the timing of the sound like an electronic processor, in order to add a mask control and modifiable delay that exists. Because in this way we can accelerate it, slow it down, syncopate it, alternate it, without even having to adapt to the standard type of delay sounds, because it will work with any sound we want. Another spectacular thing, which we have only recently realized, is that we can compare this peak even to a wah pedal. When I press the pedal, I open the tones, when I leave, it closes them. In fact, these pedals were invented in the 60s just to avoid turning the noobs on the guitar and be faster and more comfortable, right? Ok, we are in 2022, let's make it even more comfortable. Just set an auto wah style effect, or with a nice gate, and you can control the wah without the pedal. It's amazing and comfortable, isn't it? Unlike the settings discussed for the string sliding techniques in the first tutorial, these techniques can be used on any type of sound configuration, ranging from clean to distorted and embracing all musical genres. The rule to always keep in mind is that the more gain or presence I insert into the effect, the more I will need to be away from the pickup to have a clean and detached sound. There are also many other effects that can be achieved with this pick, but they have a slightly different mechanics because in this case the electromagnetic field is not slept from the outside, but we insert ourselves inside it and modulate it. Put simply, we position the pick near the shoes and pickup so as to be inside its electromagnetic bubble. It's possible to hold it in any position, but it's always better to learn to do it with the tip facing the strings for the reason above mentioned. At this point, as with the previous techniques, we plug the chord or the single note and simultaneously we begin to move or tremble. In this way it's possible to create the tremolo, which simulates a guitar lever. Excellent, especially for those guitars that don't have the lever. It's also possible to create a reverse effect on single notes or on chords. Also explore the experimental side. You know when the guitar is brought close to the amplifier to make a scream? With the speak you can create, comment or modify that whistle. or 
flashes effect only through magnetic field interaction. Approach a pickup with very little gain or presence and create the right by moving on one string and you can make the rolls passing all the strings. Guys, first of all, it's really fun. And this is exactly what initially prompted each of us to play our instrument. But then, over time, we got a bit lost in getting better and better on the guitar or bass. And the x pick brings us back to the beginning, when everything was a discovery. Works with any type of guitar pickup, any type of bass. If you have an organ with pickups, or if you have a steel guitar, it should work. There are many techniques to discover, because each of you has different setups involving different types of magnetic fields, different pickups, different amps, different pedal boards, different software. And this means that for every slightest change in magnetic field, there is a different response with XP. Got it? Which is now all in the hands of your personal style. Everything you have seen is only the result of our creativity and our equipment. In fact, for this reason, if you manage to be creative enough to invent other new techniques with XPIC, we will insert them with your name in the official techniques. Remember that XPIC is not a pick, even if it has the shape of it. It's not a sound. It doesn't have a sound. The XPIC is more fantasy at your disposal. In reality, it cannot be compared to anything else known, because the XPIC is only the XPIC. And I know, I say too many times XPIC. Uh, XPIC, yes, XPIC. Sorry, XPIC. We would like to conclude with the words of a beautiful comment that a user left us, which seems more like a prophecy. Sooner or later, someone will take this object and he will play something never heard before. And we can wait. And as always, stay tuned. And if you make demonstration videos of some techniques of entire songs played with the XPIC, give us a whistle and we'll help you with the positioning and visibility of your videos. Creativity must always be rewarded. The first who will be able to play. <laughs> Should I be bad? It's not right. Give me back the voice. No. Please, I'm John Connor. John Connor. No, you're just a poor a I want my voice. No. Give me back my voice. No. Please. No. I beg you. No. I want my best voice. No. Thank you for watching and please support the project and subscribe to the channel, otherwise it doesn't give me back my voice. Please.